AI artwork has been disqualified from the Pokemon Illustration Contest. Is this the first win in the fight against AI art? Also, Evolving Skies 2.0. What's going on, everybody? Pokemon Company disqualifies some of the contestants that submitted AI artwork for the illustration competition. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of AI. I already talked about it in my previous video on this subject, which you can find right here. Uh, right there? Or right there? Probably right there. It's going to be right there. <laughs> uh, if you want to go back and watch that, I go through my whole, uh, a whole spiel about why I don't like AI artwork. Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody should. It's stupid. Anyway. I digress. Apparently, Pokemon did exactly what I said uh, would be a great thing to do. They disqualified all of the contestants, or uh, they disqualified artists that they found breaking the rules of the competition and using AI artwork. Um, I'm not sure how many of them or, you know, to what extent. Um, but they also then uh, pushed the people that got edged out by those uh, entrants back up into the top 300. Which I was like, this is pretty much the best case scenario of what the, how they can like remedy this situation and also, you know, change the rules in the future. We're committed to upholding the integrity of the Pokemon TCG Illustration Contest and appreciate fans' continued support as we celebrate the artistic abilities of the talented Pokemon community. Legitimate artists who didn't make the final cut will be bumped up to round out the final 300 participants. And this is a, an article on IGN. That I was reading, but I'm pretty sure that's an official statement that was uh, released. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. As uh, you know, admitting you're wrong, fixing the mistake, you know, it's a great thing to do for somebody that, you know, for a company that is this big and holding a competition like this. I mean, like it's an art competition. You can't just have people typing on a keyboard and submitting stuff when there's legitimate artists who worked really hard and uh, probably a long time on their artwork to submit for this. Um, I mean, you know, it's not necessarily like the biggest prize. I mean, five grand is a decent amount of money, but I mean, it's more just the pride and knowing that your artwork is on a Pokemon card. Like, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably do a uh, part three of this video once, um, or this whole like series once the uh, contest is officially over and they've announced a winner. Uh, just because I think it'd be cool to kind of see this whole thing to the end. Yeah, and I hope that they really just, you know, learn from this and know that people will try and use AI art to weasel their way into stuff like this. So anyway, good on them. Uh, glad that these people who uh, broke the rules are getting caught for it because competition's a competition, not a let me try and fast track my way to winning uh, and edge out people that uh, legitimately uh, entered and made legitimate artwork. Big fan of this decision. Not a fan of AI art. Get it out of here. Now, <laughs> to <laughs> what might be, I don't know if it's bigger news. It might be bigger news. Uh, <laughs> a new set has been announced by the Pokemon Company uh, featuring Eevee and all of the Eeveelution Pokemon. I don't know, this is pretty exciting to me. I love Devolving Skies, and um, I opened up way too much of it. I don't have any sealed right now, which is a little sore subject, but whatever. I, it was too fun to open, and I just didn't feel like keeping booster boxes around. I opened up all of them, so what are you going to do? I'm not spending $700 to get one to sit on a shelf back there, so that's just the way it is. Uh, the set in Japanese. It's called Terastal Festival, and it releases in December. It's it's like a high-class pack set. I don't really know what that means. Some sort of gimmick they do in Japan, but I think this is just me thinking out loud that this will coincide with the uh, Paradise Dracona set that comes out in June. I think they might just like mash those two sets together. And uh, we'll get uh, Evolving Skies 2.0 or something Skies, you know, Roaring Skies, Evolving Skies, whatever the next Skies set is. Or they'll combine it with a set that comes out after this uh, Terrastal Festival. It all, it's all kind of 
up in the air, but I really don't see the Pokemon company whiffing <laughs> the opportunity to make uh, another set that is comparable to Evolving Skies, especially with the way that Scarlet and Violet started and the way it kind of is going right now. Like, the sets are all right right now. I'm just not really focusing on them too much. Um, kind of going back and trying to get the stuff that I still need from how they evolved. Um, and then uh, Paradox Rift will probably be one of the ones that I complete the master set of just because there's a bunch of cards in it and a lot of them are pretty affordable, uh, especially the special illustration rares. Uh, I digress. Um... <laughs> This is kind of big news, I mean, for collectors and for investors, whoever you want to call yourself, if you like collecting Pokemon cards for whatever reason, this is probably a set that you want to save up for and pay attention to. And it also is going to be followed up by the Team Rocket set, which is like two banger sets in a row, if it happens this way. I mean, they could be duds, but I really don't see Pokemon Company missing the ball when it's right in front of them like this. I mean... Just make a couple, make a couple evolution special illustration rare cards, and make the set huge, and just blow it out of the water, and everyone will love it, and boost your sales, everything like that. It's a pretty, pretty easy marketing scheme, if you ask me. Like, it's not a difficult thing to figure out that people want evolving skies. Like, they still want evolving skies, like right now. <laughs> and if they just made another set similar to evolving skies, I think people will just kind of go crazy for it. Anyway, I know I will. I would buy a bunch, and I probably this time would keep some of them sealed, even if it is super fun to open because you can't really, you can't really complain about selling a box you bought for ninety nine dollars like two years ago for seven hundred dollars. It's insane. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, let me know now in the comments what you guys think about both of these subjects. Um, and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys on the next one.